That must be the fire ant's nest. I probably shouldn't mess with the fire nest. That won't work. That candy person has really been through a lot today. Thanks again, Finn and Jake. No offense, but I hope I don't see you guys again for a while. Tree Trunks is safe from the ants now. Thank you, Finn and Jake. Just in time for another lesson. Come on, man. Another thing that could be worse than dancing constantly... ...is being trapped in a hedge. Ah, uh, not again. Why me? Well, I guess it could be worse. A hedge made of poison ivy! No, it's worse! Uh, and it is so bad! Don't let a little rescue mission stop you. You might still be able to catch me. Darn you, magic man! Guys! A little... Ah, help here! We gotta get that little dude out of that poison ivy and stop him from itching. Finn! Jake! You guys gotta get me out of here! We can't leave until we rescue that poor candy guy. Wizard. Man, that guy really gets around. Can't talk. Dancing. Thanks. That crazy music was interfering with my potion making biz. We're actually glad to see you, Forest Wizard. We're trying to fix this dancing thing, but Magic Man keeps messing with us. Hey, you stopped me from dancing. At least for now. I totally owe you one. I'll help in any way I can. What are you doing out here? I wanted to get outside and get some fresh air. Unfortunately, I have really sensitive skin. So I'm brewing up some sunscreen potion in my magical distiller. Potions explode sometimes, so it's best to do this stuff away from other people. Do you have any spells that can cure poison ivy itch? No. Skin problems are more of a potion thing. Magic Man has trapped a candy person in a big wall of poison ivy. That's very uncool. You can't just pull him out. He'd still be all itchy. Can you make a potion that will cure the candy person's itchy so we can get him out of the hedge? That would take a while to brew from scratch. Hmm. Wait! My sunscreen potion is the same basic formula. It's just missing one key ingredient. What ingredients do we need? Well, really, the most important thing is witch hazel. That stuff cures just about anything. Okay, what do we need to do? If you add some witch hazel to the sunscreen potion, it will make a perfect cure for poison ivy itchies. Or it'll blow up, or both. It's hard to tell. Sometimes wizard science is more art than science. Cool! Thanks, Forest Wizard! It's a magical distiller. We're making potions. Don't waste it, Finn. We need to mix up the anti-itch potion first. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! We made the witch hazel potion. Yeah, it went amazingly well, considering how things usually go for us in situations where things might explode. Once we get that witch hazel potion to the candy person, we can help him escape and not be itchy. And he should be protected from sunburn, too. No way I could carry enough potion in my hands to help the candy person. Here you go, man. You can come out of the hedge now. Mathematical! Sweet! That candy person is having a really rough day. Thanks, guys. I'm not 
Well, again. Well, it's up for the whole dancing thing. Looks like the psychic earplugs are doing their thing. Force Wizard can probably talk now. I'm gonna need the earplugs back before we go. Forest Wizard! Man, that guy really gets around. Sorry, I've told you everything I know. Look, it's Magic Man's house. This must be where he's been leading us. All right, Magic Man, show yourself! No need to yell, I'm right here. It's time to end this. So, you're ready to admit there are worse things than dancing forever? What? No, the dancing is bad, it has to stop. Really? And I thought I did such a good job. I must be losing my touch. All you proved was that you can be an even bigger jerk than you were when you started this dancing biz. Yeah, man. You've had your fun. Now you gotta make it so they don't hear that music in their heads anymore. Hmm. Hey, you know what? That's a great idea! Done! No more music in their heads, no more dancing. You're right, this is way more fun. Although I don't think your formerly dancing friends would agree. Exhibit A! <laughs> Magic man out! <laughs> what now? An awful noise! Way worse than the music! Guess we should take out these earplugs and hear it for ourselves. Yep, that's worse than music, all right. Yeah, at least it's not making us dance. Hey, guys. If you're not gonna use those earplugs anymore, uh... Huh? Oh, sure, man. Knock yourself out. Thanks! I'm out of here! Well... I guess now we have to find out what's making this new noise. I think we just did. Hmm? <laughs> what do you want? Lemon Grab, we need to talk to you. What are you doing so far away from Castle Lemon Grab? You usually don't like to go outside. My property has been stolen! My beautiful, beautiful sound sword! I will walk around the kingdom in hopes of finding the ones who have deprived me of my pretty article! Why is the Lemonhead making that horrible noise? The sweet lemon songs call to my sound sword! Through their melodious vibrations, the location of the sword will be revealed! Were you affected by the brain music earlier? I mean, you must have heard it. Yes, the noise was unbearable, and the dancing was offensive to us. It was unacceptable. Could you make the Lemonhead stop singing? Really annoying, dude. No! The Lemon songs will continue until my sound sword is found and returned to me. Hey, how about if Jake and me help you? Maybe we could find your sword and bring it back. You... would help me? Hmm... That is acceptable. Well, if we agree to help you, would you make the singing stop? Just for a while so we can concentrate? Hmm... Yes, acceptable. But I have already sent all of my lemon gentry to all of the far corners of Oo. If my sword is not found, the Lemon Song will commence again for all to hear, and it will continue for 100 years. 100 years singing! Phew, thanks. Okay, so where should we start? I will start by returning to Castle Lemon Grab, where I will wait impatiently as you incompetently but obediently do my bidding. Guess we should have seen that one coming. You should start on the other side of the grasslands. 
Take the left fork through the forest. But keep an eye on Leroy, because I'm afraid that he's possessed. Huh? What are you talking about? This conversation end. Come, my lemon minion. Looks like being sewn together from two different lemon grabs didn't change that guy much at all. He's still weird. And pretty unpleasant. <sighs> Whatevs. Guess we'd better get started finding that sound sword. Are you sure that was the right path, dude? Lemon Grab said take the left fork. But with that guy, you never... Hey! Look where we are! The house you built for Flame Princess. I thought she didn't come here anymore now that she's in charge of the Fire Kingdom. She must be on vacation or something. I should... We... We should go talk to her. Um, you know, about the sound sword and stuff. Ben, keep your mind on a mission. You got a job to do. Focus. Sure. Yeah, totally. Um, hey, Flame Princess. How's, how's it going? What's up? Oh, Finn. I'm so glad to see you. Really? That's great! Finn, focus. Yeah, right. Focus. So, how come you're here? I didn't think you came here anymore since you took over the Fire Kingdom. Not a lot of people know about this place. It's a good place to hide out. Are you okay? You look kind of upset. Things are pretty messed up, Finn. I'm in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? What's wrong? My dad and his minions are still trying to kick me out and take over the Fire Kingdom. This time he has three flame guards that are loyal to him. Incendo, Combustor, and Leroy trying to hunt me down and capture me. Cinnamon Bun and I found out about it just in time to escape, but I think they might be closing in on us. So, we're looking for a missing sound sword that somebody took from Lemongrad. Have you seen it? No, but I've been kind of preoccupied. So, um, I couldn't help but notice you have some beans over there. My tummy's kind of rumbly. Mind if I have some? Uh, no. Help yourself. Awesome! Thanks! What was that about focus? We're kind of on an important mission, but it sounds like you need help. Is there anything we can do? Well... We haven't seen any sign of the flame guards yet, but I want to be ready for them. I had Cinnamon Bud building a magic fence to help hold them off, but he got a little distracted before he could finish it. Could you guys finish placing the posts and drive them into the ground? It'd be a big help. Sure thing, Flame Princess. You can count on us. Finish up those beans, Jake. It's fence building time. I hate to see Flame Princess so worried. I hope we can help her. Finn, you have to get that fence built before those flame guards get here. It's a fence post hole. That's not working. I don't like to brag, but I did a pretty good job building this house. Ow! I always forget how hot fire is. I don't think Cinnamon Bun is going to be much help. Ha! Ha ha! Butterfly! These must be the fence posts that Cinnamon Bun didn't finish installing. We shouldn't wander too far. We have to fix the fence for Flame Princess. There. Now we just have to drive it in. 
Nah, I don't think so. That post is pretty unstable. We need to drive it into the ground somehow. It's no use. I'll never be able to just push a fence post into the ground. There. That's got it. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Beans. Wait, guys. Forget about the fence posts. Jake's gas problem has given me an idea. Incendo is probably going to be the first one here. And I think I might know how to deal with him. Why do you think Incendo will get here first? One of Incendo's only good qualities is that he's very punctual. Also, he's great at tracking and finding shortcuts. You said you knew how to deal with him. Something to do with Jake's gassy butt? Yes. Incendo is a great tracker because he has a very sensitive nose. He can't stand strong odors. Maybe you could use that against him. Do you know what direction this guy will be coming from? Last time we saw him, he was coming from the south. What can you tell us about Incendo? Well, he's only been flame guard for a little while, but he's been very loyal to my father. He was totally steamed when I took over the Fire Kingdom, and he's made it no secret that he wants me gone. Yep, I think I know just the strong order we can use against this Incendo guy. If you could find a way to capture Jake's magic air and make a few stink bomb traps, that could be just the thing we need to defeat Incendo. Great! Leave that to us. We'll let you know when we're ready. No prob. I'll unblock the path when you're ready to set up the ambush. You should really think twice before you eat beans, man. Wow. I am sorry if my bean gas offends you, but I say better out than in. Plastic bag. Good for putting stuff in. People really shouldn't just throw these on the ground, though. Plastic bag plus bean gas equals stink bomb. <laughs> nice. Plastic bag. Good for putting stuff in. People really shouldn't just throw these on the ground, though. One bean gas stink bomb, ready to go. Old car. Looks like it had a pretty decent stereo. Hey, you got one of the vibrating thingies from one of the speakers. Eh, better than nothing. making you pretty funky. Hey man, beans give me the toots, don't judge. Booey. Yeah, boy! No way you're gonna make that thing sink down just by pushing on it. Allow me to weigh in on this problem. <laughs> Gassed out. Okay, Flame Princess, we're ready to set the trap. Great. 
Incendo and his troops are down that path. Get the stink bomb set, and we can take care of them once and for all. Flame Princess is ready to let in Incendo's guys as soon as we're finished setting the traps. Tie down those stink bombs as quickly as you can. I'll let Incendo's men in after you set the trap. That looks like a good place for a stink bomb trap. That's one. Two more to go. Looks like a good place for a stink bomb trap. Two down. One more and we'll be ready. All right, we're ready. Princess, when we get Incendo near one of the stink bombs, you destroy it. Let's do this thing! Okay, here they come. Good luck, guys. think you can protect Flame Princess, huh? Isn't that adorable? Blah! That smells terrible! I'm gonna hold <laughs> Sensitive snipper, like a can of beans and a cabbage and a smelly, smelly baby. <laughs> Ole! Woo! Oh man, that's about all my nose can take. You win, Incendo out. <laughs> yeah, boy. I think our work here is done. This is about all the treasure we can carry. That is not helping at all. Yes, I am, and I don't know how long I've been muted. I've probably been muted the entire episode. Oh, boy. So this is the mute episode of Rose Play. Crap. I bet she's really impressed that I was... That I don't know why you're practicing miming. To protect her from that yeah. We should ask her about the other two flame guards. Finn! Jake! You guys did a great job defeating Incendo. He'll think twice before bothering me again. Glad we could help, but there are still two more flame guards out there that are coming for you. Who do you think we should tackle next? Combuster. Definitely. Oh, boy. Well, at least I got to see my miming act, apparently, for this next episode. What's the Who's story combuster? on this Combuster dude? Combustor is old school. He and my dad have been hanging out together since they were kids. When my dad became king, he made sure Combustor had a prominent place in the Flame Guard Brigade. Why should we fight Combustor? Why should we fight Combustor next because instead of the other Because you... Oh, okay. Because I Combustor was going to say, because you like Flame Princess. Yeah, people will think their audio that. went awry. He's not nearly as they just to might, by the time Leroy. this episode posts. We should really build gradually to Leroy. Oh, they're just figuring I screwed up my audio again. Where is Combustor? Where did you last see Combustor? 
Last I heard, thank goodness there's a second episode I'm doing after this one ends. So if you stick around, you'll see a second episode with the sound. Trying to get to the next save point. Does Combustor have any weakness? All right, so that Incendo guy had a weakness. How about Combustor? Combustor I see you, Mask. Your Master Cat showed up briefly. Master Cats. There's but three really of them. it's easy to make him angry. When he's frustrated, he forgets his training and attacks head on. Literally. Of course, I don't know how that will help. He's very hard-headed. Really. His skull is twice as thick as a normal flame person's. That's wonderful. Hmm. We'll have to find a way to work with that info. So, where do we start? I just cleared the path to the north. Head up there. Oh, really? That's ready? it? I'll let down the defensive barriers and you can take on Combustor and his minions. I hope you can handle them. Don't worry, princess. Just leave that stuff to the heroes. Yeah. Well, thank you sure. for the 100 pizza points, filthy thread. Is he still out of Somehow, commission? I doubt he's going to have much to say. Yeah, just just butterflies, lots and lots of butterfly. I, I guess I'm ready for the next area. I, I don't know where anything else would be. So it must be this. Do you get money from sparks or embers only? You do get money from sparks, amateur. Um, yeah. you got to get a lot of sparks for money though. But otherwise, embers, I think, make most of the money. Bye, slime princess. Bye, slime, slime princess. princess. Oh, I have the same idea. Hmm. Weird. Ooh, Ooh thank Ow. you for the three star oh, sparks, filthy thread. Ah. That is very Man, much appreciated. So bummed out. <sighs> hey, Ice King. Oh. Boy, Ice King has showed up hey, in every guys. episode. What's up with Slime Princess? Slime Did you princess kidnap right her? What happened? We were on a date, and we had a little disagreement. What, what kind did your of smelly a disagreement? Or donkus? Oh, you know, what to do on a date, where to go on a date, that I kidnapped her to go on a date, the usual stuff. I think that first one is probably why she was upset. But why are you upset? You seem depressed, you know? More than usual? Well, I always get upset when I'm confronted by my sense of relationship inadequacy. Huh? I has a sad when I think about how I, I has a sad. the ladies. Ah. Again, I'm going out on a limb here, but maybe stop the kidnapping and you might woo them better. So, what happened to your nose? What happened to your nose? Looks like you heard it. I tripped and fell when I tried to catch up with Slime Princess. My nose oh, went right through wow. that mound of grass and up the geyser. 2,500 sparks, and I don't even know what that the is. It looks like a cloud really from my point of view. Here. But Crazy. I appreciate the 2,500. Why did you How freeze you that, geyser? that geyser? When I get really upset, I lose it and freeze stuff sometimes. It's something I'm trying to work on. Hey, uh, you guys mind if I hang out for a while? Uh, maybe you'll think of some advice for me or something. I did think of advice, and I told you it four sure. times Why in a not? row. Finn, I know there's got to be a way to use all of this to defeat Combustor. We just have to figure it out. What? Use somebody else's misery to accomplish our mission? He started hey, misery. Hey, guys, maybe we should think of pulling an all-nighter on this one back at your place. I got no, a we got to you out of there. I'm in. Nice. We have to try I'm ice cream doing that freeze thing again. Oh, thank you for the mixer hearts. The hundred mixer heart points. Boy, I just got a, a spark war going on. Okay, so there's no save point yet, so I can't leave to the next episode, but let's see. The ground is kind of bubbly here. Must be some water pressure under there. I can't start a geyser with my bare hands. Nah. I'm not competing with anyone. Just wanted to give you a hand. Uh, is that what that is? Is a hand? Maybe that's what that is. I know. I was just kidding anyway. But I do appreciate it. Got to really sink this fence post deep to make a geyser. Okay. So let's go ahead and try. 
Now we got a guy. Let's trick Ice King into freezing him. Nice. Now we just need to get Ice King to freeze it. Ah, thank you for the good game, Sparks, for a hundred, Filthy. We have to trick Ice King into doing that freeze thing again. Okay, how do you do that? I don't know what it is, ma'am. I mean, I'm a fun guy. Not, not a fun guy, like a mushroom or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think some of your kidnapped um, princes might know, think you man. are a fungus. Some people are just going to be alone forever, I guess. Alone? Forever? Ah! <laughs> Good work, man. We only need one more. Oh, and the sandwich sparks the hype. Thanks again, filthy. Luckily, I only had to wait one day before I can stream. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't think it'd be too long. The or ground much. is kind of bubbly here. Must they usually say up to three days, but. Did you also uh, set yourself up for monetization? I can't start a geyser with my bare hands. Because there is there is something that you can do to get monetized, which I assume is where the sparks start getting you uh, points. Not yet. Anybody can sign up for it. I believe so. I don't think you need to have the 2,000 followers or got to really sink this fence post anything deep like to make that. a geyser. All right, so we just use shake again. One geyser coming up. Now we gotta get Ice King to freeze. I believe I'm a mixer partner. You need to have the 2,000 and then 18 views and the whatnot. But to get monetized, nice. I don't now we just think need to you get do. Ice King you just have to it. sign up and wait a day for them to check the stats. Ooh, thank you for the pizza sparks. Finn and Jake would be ecstatic about the pizza sparks. All right. We have to trick Ice King into doing that freeze thing again. Maybe I come on too strong. You think that's it? Maybe <laughs> that's I should an find a more subtle way to kidnap the princess. Three more stars more for romantic. my man, filthy. Or Thank you. You could just lock yourself up in the ice kingdom, cut yourself off from the world, and become a fanfic writing hermit. You'd be great at that. Uh, isn't he already that? Oh, you're right. I was. Man, that was pretty harsh. We needed another ice column, dude. Sacrifices had to be made. Because yeah, that's better uh, than sacrificing you, an actual person. I'm gonna go talk to Gunter. He's a much better listener. Oh, yeah, if you don't mind. Do? Yeah. Wank. Constantly. His head against these super hard frozen geysers. Not even his super thick skull will stand up to that. That just might work. All right, guys. Here they come. Well, I assume after this battle, we should have a save point. How did we get three, though? I'm a little confused on this three. I, I guess the first one just must have been there. Thank you. It's magic. Don't question game logic. No, it's adventure time. Don't question adventure time logic. But, uh, yeah, no, you're right. I, I can really learn to stop questioning. So you two are gonna fight me. This should be enough fun. No. Fun. Well, that failed. Okay, I don't think that works. I think I just got up. I am naturally thick skull. Do you have help? Uh. You know, in this one, no, since it's supposed to be like a story-based game. However, if you get injured too bad, they start looking really bad. And after they look really bad, you don't get as much treasure. Yeah, see? That means I did the best. I don't know if it means anything, though. Yep, there's the save point. All right. So... Like I said, I will be back with another episode in about, I'm going to say 15 minutes. But until then, remember, keep gaming. Never give up. And sometimes you need an outside source to tell you that you're being a mime. I won't be back, but good luck nonetheless. All right, well, then I'll see you l later then, amateur. Uh, I'll see you in another stream. And hello, filthy. Ah. <sighs>
<sighs> yeah, sometimes you need someone else to tell you that you're being a mime. Because miming is easy when you're muted. Also, thank you guys for the sparks.